In this video, I'll show you how to sum corresponding value to the value here, in this case pen, for all of these three data tables. And I must say that the way the data is arranged on this worksheet is not the best. And I'll show you later on how to rearrange it so you can work with it. I'm going to use an if function here. So equal sign, if function, parenthesis. And here you want a logical expression. And I'm looking for the value pen. So I'm going to select this cell range here because I have values here that I want to look for. And I want a value in this cell range to be equal to the value in this cell. And if, if they are equal to this value, if there is a cell that is equal to this cell, I want it to return the corresponding value next to that value. And to do that, I'm going to select a cell range this cell range here and it must have the same number of rows and columns as the first cell but it is moved one column to the right in this case it depends on your data and if this logical expression is false I want it to return zero and then an ending parenthesis and it returns 9.4 but that is wrong because it shows only the first value in this array so I will copy this and enter it here so you can see all the values in the array that this formula returns and now it's obvious that you have the value pen here, so it returns the corresponding value 9.4 here. And then there is a pen here and here, so it returns the corresponding values to that value. And there is also one down here, so it returns 5.2 there. And the next thing, the last thing to do is to sum all the values in this array. And you do that simply by adding some function sum parenthesis ending parenthesis and enter it as an array formula. And now it has added all the values that are equal to pen in this cell range. So what is wrong with this data? Uh, you have the date on top of each data set and that is not good if you want to use a pivot table or if you want to use a formula. So copy the values to a new sheet, paste and copy these as well and then copy the date and this date and this and the first date is 2009 January and to enter that 
in all cells. Select this that is merged. Select this and paste it and then hold control and press enter. And that will copy it to all the cells selected. The next cell is February 2009. Hold, press and hold control and then press enter. And the last one is March. And here you have it. And that is a date. And now you can more easily work with the data.